I'm playing Pokemon Sword. This is episode three. Who would have thought we'd get this far? Certainly not me. Check out what's inside this. Aww. Look at that little fella. <coughs> okay, um, where we left off, we just got our very lame meteorite wishing star Dynamax bands. All right, so I think the response was mixed for if I should keep Peggy in my team. We had a lot of positive and we had a lot of negative. I am deciding to drop Peggy. We're gonna throw Peggy in the trash. We're gonna keep Craig and Nicholas. Those are our only two boys that we're gonna continue on with for now till we find some more permanent members. Ooh, we can do a little bit of fishing just before we head on our journey. Oh, would you look at that? It's a magic carp. All right, we're gonna catch the magic carp. Does it, is there a um, Galar Gyarados type? Surely there's not, otherwise the um, magic carp would be a Galar type, right? There we go. Magic carp, you gotta add him to the Pokedex if you don't got him. Plus, we get XP for doing so. Apparently not much. It seems to be relative to the level and type of Pokemon. AKA worthless Magikarp equals four XP. Here we go. It is virtually worthless in terms of both power and speed. The double whammy. It is the most weak and pathetic Pokemon in the world. Okay. That is the cruelest Pokedex entry from any of the games that I've seen for Magikarp. Surely no other Pokedex entry is that cruel. Would you like to give it a name? We're gonna call our Magikarp Gilbert and we will not be leveling him. But there you go, Gilbert. Now, where were we? Where were we heading to? The train station, maybe? Let's go up here. Oh, wait. What? Didn't I come down this way? It's a new trainer in this position. Um, Last Lauren. They all look like private school kids. It's a very small tie that she has on. She's got a Chewtle. And I will be using Craig, my main powerhouse. As there does not seem to be any downside to doing so. Uh, it's a water, so we're just gonna have to smash its brains in. Goodbye, angry turtle. Farewell. Let's see, do we get more XP as... It doesn't, no, not really. Like Nicholas got 31 XP points and Craig got 35. You can just level your whole party with one powerhouse Pokemon, at least at the start and probably through the whole game since the game is gonna be easier than others it seems. Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a ways to go. Yes, very poetic. What? Why is that just roaming on the path? That is strange. We already have a Yamper, don't we? I think that Pokeball next to the level there means that we have it, I think, right? I'm just gonna throw a ball at it. See if we can, yep, just uh, grab a free one. It's decent XP, very decent XP. I think I'm supposed to, Oh, there's a Trutle. Sit, look at that. Just a random Trutle, just walking on the path. What the fuck is that weird feed? Look at the feed on the left. I did not notice that before. Ycom offers many ways to connect with other players. You'll be welcome to swap Pokemon, take part in Pokemon battles and more. There's never a shortage of things to do. Okay. Why does my avatar look like a pedophile? What is that? I caught myself. What is that? Can I change that? Why does he look 40? Surprise trade. Surprise trade lets you trade Pokemon in a truly surprising way. Select a Pokemon to trade and leave the rest up to us. I'm not going to get like a level 100 Palkia, am I? Or something like that or a hacked Pokemon. Let's trade our Magikarp. Would you like to save your game and start a surprise trade? I absolutely would. Connecting to the internet is fantastic. You can also cancel your request by selecting. All right, blah, 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 blah. Uh, leave that thing going. It's trying to find a trade for us. And we're gonna head off to the train station. Come on, wet bread. You'll never beat me to the station at that pace. Well, I'm literally just standing here. Yeah, good one, bro. Does that really get your endorphins going? You can't beat me in a Pokemon battle. You'd want to beat me in a, a race where my I'm literally just standing still. So out with it, wet bread. How many did you catch? Oh, fuck. I forgot that's what I was doing. I was supposed to be... Wait, was that even relevant? I caught a really special one, but look at how many you caught. Oh, okay. It's just general Pokedex dick measuring contest. You're on your way to building a fine team. Thanks, bro. TM Swift. TM 40. Pops mum. Not quite so fast, you two. <laughs> she just doesn't have a name. I really love how this game treats women. Feminism is dead. Here she is. Hop's mum's kind of thick. 
actually. What are you doing here, Mum? Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, our last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Did she say camping? A set of camping gear. Okay, oh, this is gonna be some overworld thing where you can set up camp, it's kinda cool. Everything you need to set up tent and get cooking. All right, no matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, mum, and just think how lucky you are. M mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Oh, right, okay, I thought he was talking about me and him for a second. Because I'm certain to be the champion next, you'll see. I wonder if I'm actually gonna verse him as the champion or if he's just gonna be some washed up peasant. It's very hot right now where I live. I'm suffering. I'm sweating to death. I feel like the good old days when I'd record gaming videos. Yo, those are you, the new Yeezys, bro! You got the new Yeezys, wet bread! Modus, wait, where was this? It's a, a real site. There's all sorts of po wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Okay, so we actually haven't gone. And why is the text moving on its own without me pressing anything? Uh, yeah, I can camp. I can do some fishing. Do I get tired of it? Yes, this is the wild area station. Make no mistake. I am sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. Have they ever done anything but cause us trouble, the Wooloos? We should probably exterminate them, at least cull them a little bit. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. What is? This wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, wet bread? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. This is gonna be awesome. We're gonna go out. We're gonna try to level up um, Craig. Hopefully we can evolve him into what I think is his emo evolution. Here we go. That's it. The big barren wasteland of nothing. Look at those graphics. Truly living in the in 2019. Let's go back in and talk to some NPCs real quick. You got anything interesting to say? Uh, no? Yes? Five Poker Dolls. So they use, they're like little substitutes that you can just drop out to fuck off wild Pokemon and bounce. Let's buy... 12 Pokeballs and a Premier Ball for free for every 10 Pokeballs I think it is. Couple of potions for the boys after selling all mine at the start. And let's finally get to catching. Are you actually kidding? You go to your profile. Why would it ever make this the default? Oh, be, oh, be honest, be actually honest. Out of all of these avatars, which one would you think is a pedophile? Well, I mean, maybe this guy, the postman, but that is absurdly creepy. By comparison to everything else, that is just such a strange thing. And that's the default. I'm gonna make myself uh, Craig. Sweet. Let's move up. Anything special back here? Wait, what? Oh, you can move the camera around. Oh, it's a full 360 experience. Here we go. Look at that. Yeah, look at that, Hop. That's grass. That's motor stoke. Way off that way. That's literally like a hundred meters. Way off that way. Way over there in the distance. Would you look at that? And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. So we're just gonna walk there instead of using the train because it's the Wooloo are just being jammed underneath the train. Oh, hello. And if it isn't Sonya. My gran gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey. But what are you doing with your life? <laughs> okay, everyone's just taking a shit all over Sonya. Ah, uh, never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I'd been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I'd been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit that I've got some talent. You can unzip my pants if you'd like, Sonya. Yikes! <laughs> Being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. Does anyone in this game shut the fuck up? Please! Let me catch Pokemon! So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? Don't mind getting a treat from Sonya, I won't lie. We've got a Pokemon box link, a device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. There are some places where it won't work. So we basically have an on the go uh, PC, I guess. You can use the Pokemon storage box to access your Pokemon boxes while you're on the road. You'll be able to add Pokemon to the party or transfer Pokemon from your party to a box. Sweet. With the Pokemon box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes. Can you stop saying the same thing 16 times? So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill some, yep, all right. I'm gonna go fill it up. I'm gonna go fill it up. I'll be back to fill you up. Man, women be cooking. Let's do something. There's some berries. I love how it's panning over all this. Like, like it's something to marvel at. Look at all this. Look at this gorgeous, expansive wasteland. Sorry, I should stop being. Oh, combi! 
combis. Combi. So many combis. Look how cute it is. Very cute. We're going to have to do the obligatory catch first up. I think we're only three levels um, from evolving Craig, so we should be able to do it this episode. We're just going to grab this combi and get some XP. And then I might just go massacre a bunch of them. Your Pokemon gained XP. Peggy leveled up. I'm just holding Peggy because I've got six Pokemon. I'm not going to keep it. The members of the trio spend all their time together. Each one has a slightly different taste in nectar. Can they detach or anything like that? They're not really a trio. It's more just like one Pokemon ship with, what have they got, like three brains? I'm going to call him Pollen Suck. Uh, and I'd like to shove Pollen Suck straight in the PC box, please. What's this Pokemon? Something new? No? Well, yes, but nothing I haven't seen. All right, let's catch this little plant fucker. Two, three, captured. Fantastic. I will only be using new Pokemon or Galar region Pokemon in my team. What should we call it? Uh, I'm going to go with, ooh, it's a tough one. I reckon the and sign for that one. Another forgettable Pokemon just to store in the attic. Fantastic. Now, let us see what this one is. A Bunnelby, is that its name? Bunnelby, yep. Never mind. I will just kill it. What about this one? Can I catch you, please? That's the problem with powerhousing one frontman Pokemon. It's always too high a level for the areas to effectively uh, wound Pokemon enough to capture them. So you end up just fucking one-shotting everything. Pound is such a shit move. Critical hit and it couldn't even take it off green. To be honest, I could probably just mash the Pokeball button for most of these and just get them one shot. So we add a Bunnelby to our crew. Lock it in, Eddie. Bunnelby was caught. I guess it is kind of cool waiting to see the new Pokedex entries. I'm assuming they're all new for this game. Uh, Craig's level 14 should be too off evolving, I'm pretty sure. Nicholas to level nine, nice, nice. It excels at digging holes. Using its ears, it can dig a nest 33 feet deep in one night. What a feature. Let's give it a name. I'm gonna call it Trisha. Not Trisha Paytas. That would be an insult. Just, um, just Trisha the rabbit. Send it to a box. There's so many different things out here. Can we shake the trees? Is this Breath of the Wild? What the fuck is that? What is this World of Warcraft? Is this like a, an ore vein that I can mine? What is that? Pokemon Den. Oh, that's cool. The Pillars of Red Light. Oh, is this the one for the Dynamax? Uh, okay, sweet. There's a bit of energy trickling out of the Den. You gained 50 W. Sweet, just harvesting it. I think I'm gonna grind up on, on some bees and some rabbits. Just real quick, let's do a montage of slaughtering the wildlife. And he's dead. XP. And he's dead. Just killing all the level eight combis. A little bit of XP there. And nope. <laughs> I love how my character just popped into frame. Can you uh, slow mo that? I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. And let us kill this level 10 combi. And get XP. And let us kill this level 10 battle bee. Give me XP. Six, oh, 69 XP. Oh, Chomp grew to level 10. No one cares. Another rabbit dead. More XP. Nicholas, level 10. Extermination. XP. XP. Come on, Craig. So close, baby. Whoa, whoa. Big Onyx. You found a note. The large Pokemon you see wandering around in the wild area are strong. If you try battling one and it seems like you're in over your head, try run. Try to run. Run like the wind. Okay. Um, I'm assuming this Onyx is going to be a little jacked. You encountered a very strong looking Onyx. Damn. That's a kind of a cool feature, I guess. Overleveled Pokemon for the area? Yeah, I don't think I will. That's, that's actually too much for me. He would just crush all my Pokemon. Let's leave him be. Wait, what? Another note? Cooking at your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon and even the PP they need to use. My po my Pokemon need to PP. Please, mom, stop the car. My Pokemon need a PP. My Pokemon needs to take a shit, mom. Please. I don't, I don't know anymore what the fuck this is. What is that 
weird texture over the tree. What is that? Wait, what? What? You can just keep shaking? Is this like a gambling thing? Are we all or nothing nothinging the tree? Six berries? Jesus Christ, what a- There are n Well, I'm gonna quit and take nine berries. Is there any reason to stop- To not stop shaking it? Okay, I think that- I feel like it, it's like some sort of feature where something random can happen, like a Pokemon comes and eats them all if you're too greedy. Oh! It's, uh, Mincino. Yeah, Mincino. We'll do a nice little, um... Oh, this is just gonna kill it. It's- it's trying to fuck me. It's giving me the baby doll eyes. Craig's attack fell. Craig used water pulse. Let me pulse your bones. Oh! Excellent! Free Pokemon, boys! There we go. Ooh, 72 XP. One more level, I'm pretty sure he's gonna evolve. The way it brushes away grime with its tail can be helpful when cleaning. Why does it try to, it feel, I feel like this game says, uses so many words to say such little nothing. The way it brushes away grime with its tail can be helpful when cleaning. The way I bite and chew an apple can be helpful when eating the apple, but its focus on spotlessness can make cleaning more of a hassle. Shut the fuck up. What are we gonna call this one? Rodent 1,253. Shove it in the box. Ooh, ooh, it's a Vespa Queen. It's an Evolve combi. Is this one out because it's a bigger? Oh yes, it's a very strong looking one. I don't know. I feel like I, sh I should try to get it. If it's gonna be levels 20 or something though, it's probably just gonna, yeah, I think it's gonna absolutely fucking ruin me. I'm gonna use all my Pokemon though, guys. I'm gonna do it down to the line and then I'm gonna try to catch it. I might be surprised, let's see. Craig might be stronger than I think. No, Craig is not stronger than I think. It's also water, it's just sort of, yeah. It's gonna stab a hole in poor Craig and it's going to absolutely guillotine the cunt. He's dead. Craig is dead. Yeah, I don't think I can pull that with any of my other Pokemon. Nicholas. Oh, he's so cute. We're gonna try Hone Claws. Wait, what am I doing? I'm just going to be killed. Go Peggy! What does Payday even do? Doesn't really matter though. Wait, Swagger, that's not gonna hurt, is it? It's gonna boost some shit and then drop some shit, I think. Confuse me, okay. At least I might get a hit in here. Come on! Come on, Peggy! Come on, Peggy Hill! Nope. Okay. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball, and I really don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, that's, it doesn't even allow you. You can't throw a poke. Wait, what? You can't throw a Pokeball. It won't let its guard down. It's literally just saying this Pokemon is too strong for you. Come on, Meowth. He's not going to last one more turn, though. What's the point? All right, I'm, ba I'm bouncing. I'm going to run. Thank you. <laughs> All right, boys. I reckon we will set up camp if we can. Uh, okay. We can't set up camp here. I think it's because I skip everything and I don't take in any information. I probably would know where and why I can't set up camp. This is, is he gonna verse me? No, he's not, he's gonna teach me something. Love to cook? You've come to the right place. I've got all the finest ingredients here. Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's selling bread. That is awesome. Wet bread wants to buy some bread. Grab a tin of beans, I reckon. I always, I see beans, I buy. You know what? I'm just gonna make the trek up here because I know there's a free heal. Oh wait, Pokemon camp is there. Oh, okay, so it's just its own whole feature or whatever. Pokemon camp. In your Pokemon camp, you and your Pokemon can play together. I don't want to do that. And even eat together. I would love to do that. Growing closer through the experience. If your Pokemon grow very close to you, if you would like to fuck your Pokemon, they may try extra hard to fuck you back during battle. You can play using your Joy-Con too. If you slide your Joy-Con off your system, you can wave one about to throw a ball for your Pokemon to retrieve or wave a poker toy for their delight. Yeah, I'm a hardcore player, bro. I, I don't want none of this gay pageant shit. I don't want none of this gay poker camp, poker ball fetch having shit. I'll do it later. I think it is kind of cool. It's, I guess, it's a feature of sorts. You are now connected to the, the internet. internet. Whoa, who's this guy on the bike? What's going on there? What? Is that a player? <gasps> Is that actually a player? Loaf of bread. Awesome. Thank you. I think these are actually players that we can see. That's awesome. They're all giving me shit. 
It, are they? These are players. It's got to be. Or like they're, they're loading their avatars in or something like that. Okay, well, yes, obviously. Thanks! They're all just giving me stuff. Well, that's a benefit of connecting to the internet. Sweet. Oh, no, he's off. Uh, hi there. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. I kamikaze them all into a queen bee. We're going to just kill the wildlife until Craig levels up. And Craig hopefully evolves into his emo preteen evolution. Come on. Encino's dead. Bit of XP. That's decent XP. <gasps> Ooh. Is that a Tyroke? That's awesome. Okay, well, there's something we need to catch. Let's just go with the... the oh, we've got a couple of Great Balls. We could have tried throwing a Great Ball at the Queen Bee, I guess. It might have let me do that. Let's throw a Pokeball. Let's hope for an instant catch. Easy, mate. Just easy. All right, XP. Tyrogue. It is always bursting with energy. To make itself stronger, it keeps on fighting even if it loses. Would you like to name it? I would. I'm gonna call it Moron. Imagine continuing to fight even when you're losing. What an absolute fucking idiot. We're gonna chuck it straight in the box. Pretty cool Pokemon. We do get some nice evolutions. <gasps> Butterfree! But how do I get up there? How do I get up there to grab that? Do I just walk under it? No? How do you first that? You got anything for me, bro? Bag of Stardust, thanks. All right, should we try um, do this raid over here? Because this one's fully illuminating. Got a couple of boys here. Oh, yep, this guy's going for it as well. That's really cool. That's actually really cool. I like that. Lapras. Max raid battles. Defeat a Dynamax Pokemon and you'll get a chance at catching it. Additionally, there are some rare items that you can uh, only obtain by battling Dynamax Pokemon. When wild Pokemon Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. They may unleash multiple moves in a row and take other actions you won't see in a regular battle. Working together with other trainers will be key as you take on these Dynamax Pokemon together as a team of four. The elite four, you could say. Um, it looks like we only get to put in one Pokemon. Invite others. Yeah, so wet bread. We're going in with our Craig avatar and our Craig... Craig and we're gonna wait for some other players Okay, no one's showing up. Should I try to battle it on my own? I don't think I will I'm not ready for this. We'll we'll, we'll have to start done. What are these people doing? Are they playing? Did I not get in with them? What yes, I would love to if only people would let me know on Wycom. Oh Okay <gasps> Sending Gilbert we sent Gilbert off we gotta get a Pokemon back. Please don't give me some like level 56 Rhydon or something. I feel like that. <gasps> what the fuck is that? That's a new Pokemon. <gasps> I don't care what anyone says. Rice Gum is speaking straight facts. Barrascuda. That is a cool name. Barrascuda. Look at its tail rotating. This Pokemon has a jaw that's as sharp as a spear and as strong as steel. Apparently, Barrascooter's flesh is surprisingly tasty too. All right, well, they've outright just done it. Sword and Shield has gone ahead and made a Pokedex entry, which just straight up implies that people eat Pokemon. I know it's always been up for debate and the anime is a little on, off and on about it, but this just straight up says that people eat Barrascooter. Probably on a skewer with vegetables. Join in, Pokemon sighted. Did I just click on my own thing? Oh no, here we go. Okay, I can't I can't I've got a short attention span. I can't do this. I can't wait around We're gonna we're gonna do it later. We're gonna do it later. Okay. Um, oh, we got another note use the right stick to rotate the camera. Okay. Yes, I know how to rotate the camera. I've played Mario 64 on the Nintendo 64. Thank you so much. Let's kill some bees boys One dead bee uh, Two dead bees uh, Three dead bees. Uh, four dead bees. Uh, five dead bee. Oh, he's he living. He living. Five dead bees. Come on, so close. Six be dead bees will do it. All right, guys, this is it. This is Krang's big battle. He's gonna kill this bee. He's gonna get a little bit of XP, and he's gonna get to level 16, and he's gonna evolve, hopefully, 
if the game follows suit to the regular evolution patterns of the other games. Craig, here we go. Peggy, also level 12, not as important. Let's see. Please evolve. Please. <gasps> yes! Craig's evolving! Oh, I think the emo one is the second one, unless that was the third one that I saw. I don't know what the other evolution is. So, if it is the emo one, I don't know what um, his last state is. <gasps> oh! Oh! My son! Oh my god, it's not a phase, Dad! This is who I really am, Dad! Why is he wearing oven mitts on his- look at that! Green oven mitts, and he's got a fringe. Congratulations! Your Craig evolved into Drizzile. Drizzile? Drizzle? Drizzile. I'm so happy for my son! I'm letting him explore himself. A clever combatant. This Pokemon battles using water balloons created with moisture secreted from its palms. It's a Pokemon that wears cooking mitts that secrete water that it turns into water balloons. Okay, congratulations, Craig. You're depressed now. I'm gonna support my son. Whatever he wants to be in life. Look at him, look at him. I'm actually really happy I picked Sobble. I don't think I like Grookey at all. Score Bunny would have been my second pick. You can just farm items from all these people. I don't know how valuable they are if you can sell them or anything. I think they're just like a camping exclusive. Ooh. It's a Pancham. I think that's what it's called, right? Pancham? Sweet. Catch you. Oh! Look at his neck! Look at the top of his head! <laughs> I'm just gonna go with a straight up Pokeball. Nope. That's not happening. I guess that's um handy with having such a shitty move like Pound still on your main boy. Because I don't think Pound is going to be- Oh, he uses his tongue now! He just li he just pecked him in the eye with his tongue. Mmm! I'm just getting boxed. Alright, that ought to be good enough, I reckon. Come on. Got him! Pancham! What should we call him? Something Chinese? Oh, I'm definitely calling it Rice Gum. I do not care what anyone thinks. Rice Gum is speaking straight facts. Can I just put in a bunch of Chinese letters? It chooses a Pangoro as its master, which is the, the uh, older evolution, the big panda, and then imitates its master's actions. This is how it learns to battle and hunt for prey. So what if it's born from a Pangoro, like its actual mother, does its mother just leave it and then it has to find another Pangoro to train it? Would you like to give Pancham a nickname? Yes, I would. would, you, where would you, what would you like to do with rice gum? I would like to put him in the box and never take him out and never let him upload a video again. Oh, all right, we're in the pan we're in the Chinatown. It's a whole bunch of pan champs here. Might just farm this one real quick. Oh, he actually uses the the water balloon law that it just told us. He pulls out a water. Just I'm assuming it's for all these water moves. He pulls it out and then just sort of motions it towards. Pretty cool. We're getting some levels on Nicholas here, who's just learning Snarl. Whatever Snarl is, let's have a check. The user yells as, yeah, I don't really care. What the fuck is that description? The user yells as if it is ranting about something. As if it's doing a YouTube rant, uncut. You ever just put on like a Ray William Johnson equals three and the opponent's special attack falls? Bit more XP. Okay, I feel like we've been grinding for quite a while. I'm gonna just farm this man's loaf of bread. Real quick, ooh, bottle of cow tit milk. And we are going to... Oh, oh get into a battle with a Metapod. Okay, there's a throwback. Surely Metapod is such a shit Pokemon that's just gonna... Get sucked straight into the... Nope, okay. Strong Metapod. Never mind, I have killed it. Couple more levels. We're gonna end up just evolving these random Pokemon, which is good, I guess. I would like to see what they look like. We're gonna, I reckon Trent, since he's like a Pidgey Pokemon, is probably gonna evolve pretty soon. Ooh, a different area. Ooh, <gasps> okay. No, there's a time pulse. Never mind, that's nothing new. Uh, I'll just catch one real quick. Just real quick, boys. Okay, I didn't know that Pokemon floated. I guess some people um, playing the game actually don't haven't seen a bunch of these Pokemon. If you're just getting back into Pokemon or something like that, 
We're going to Water Pulse, which I probably shouldn't have done. It's the stronger one, but it shouldn't kill it because it is a water type. Then we're going to go for the catch. Just catching tadpoles in my backyard. Catching tad... Just catching time poles in the pond. There we go. Timpole was caught. It's big nut leveled up. Not that I care. Oh! I do care! I do care! Big nut is evolving! What's he going to evolve into? I think I might know. Nuzleaf! With nipples! He has nipples! I wonder if you could milk a Nuzleaf. I wonder if you get sap would come out of those little teats. Let's have a look at his data. It lives deep in forests. With the leaf on its head, it makes a flute whose song makes listeners uneasy. I also play the flute. Big Knight wants to learn the move Razor Leaf. Yeah, I'll let you learn it, but I'm st I'm still not keeping you. You're getting replaced. All right, here we go. One, two. Ta-da. Oh, right. Time pole, Tim pole as well. Graceful ripples running across the water surface are a sure sign that time pole are singing in high-pitched voices below. Nice little time pole harmony. Tim pole, time pole. I just keep going flip-flopping between the way I say it. I don't know how it's pronounced. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Something sparkly. A fancy apple. Okay, it's just one of these weird ingredients. Are these guys just all out here just like farming ingredients from these trees? Big mushroom. Okay, I'm buying a rare item from this guy. XP candies, what? A candy that is packed with energy. When consumed, it will grant a single Pokemon a very small amount of XP. Oh, so it's like um, a Walmart rare candy. I'm gonna keep shaking. 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 Ah, you get a Pokemon battle. A Cherubi. I wonder if um you lose all your berries now. I feel like that that's gotta be the risk, right? But that is a good trade. I would like to catch you, my friend. Hopefully this doesn't kill you. Throw a little water balloon at you. One more. Secure the payload. There we go. That's an easy catch. I love how Cherubi has like this weird growth coming out of its head, like it has a deformed twin at birth. Ooh, that's some big XP, 118 for Craig. Damn, Craig. It nimbly dashes about to avoid getting pecked by bird Pokemon that would love to make off with its small, nutrient-rich storage ball. Never mind, it's not a twin, it's a storage ball. I'm going to call you Storage Ball. Storage Ball was stored in the box. Storage Ball be... Oh, wait, here we go. We still get all the berries? We still get all the berries, I think. Oh, wait, maybe I lost half of them? What's up, bro? Oh, you can spend your watts? Oh, wishing piece. Throw one to win to into a Pokemon stand to attract wild Dynamax Pokemon. And we've got a bunch of TMs that we can buy. So watts are specific currency for out and about, like in the wild area only, I think. Is that an Oddish? Ah. Oh. Guys, I know this is a long grind, but we've got to get them all. We've got to catch them all. That's the Pokemon tagline. We've got to put in the hard hours. We'll be doing some battles too. We'll be getting some gym badges. I do need all the Pokemon though. That's a strong Oddish. Level 15? Come on. Give me an Oddish. If I was playing a normal game like, like, without new Pokemon, I probably would catch an Oddish. I like Pokemon that have three forms. A stage one and a stage two. Off the basic, always a good get. Ooh, three levels with the top three boys. Craig level 17, Peggy 13, and Nicholas to 13. If exposed to moonlight, it starts to move. Good work, Oddish. It roams far and wide at night to scatter its seeds. I'm going to call this Oddish Gang Weed. And then we will continue. Whoa, what is that? What? What is- That wasn't a shiny, was it, or something? I thought that was a new Pokemon there for a second, but we have seen Grubbin before. I hope that was just an item and, and it's not a shiny and I haven't fucked it up. Surely not. It wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to get a shiny straight off the bat there. Um, I have done it though in a normal playthrough before, not by doing any of the shiny stacking techniques. I just randomly got... I can't remember what it was. Medi uh, Medicham? Grubbin was caught straight off the bat. Fantastic. Another? I hope we get some good rewards. We're filling out a Pokedex here. Its natural enemies, like Rookie D, may flee rather than risk getting caught in its large mandibles that can snap thick tree branches. I am going to call this one the Punisher. And we're gonna put the Punisher, you guessed it, straight in the PC box where he belongs. Holy shit, it's a beware. 
Beware the beware! That's gonna be way too high level. It's one of those big fucked Pokemon. It's gonna stay away. I'm gonna farm a little bit of W. There we go, 50 watts. Oh, Swift Tree! That's what that's called, right? Swift Tree? Oh, please leave me alone. You got any bread for me, fucker? Pack of potatoes, good enough. A lot of carbs. Grab a free item here. What's this, a mushroom? Nope, fancy apple. It's another one here. What's this? Another fancy apple? Fuck yeah. I see an actual item over here. But I'm gonna stop by and grab this. Another fancy apple? Fuck yeah! Fancy apple for the boys! And then we're gonna pick up this item. And that is a white herb. And we're going to get out of the rainy area and head up here. And you know what? What is that? Is that a Noibat? It's a Noibat. We've got some Golettes here. I don't know why they're in some sort of weird ritual state. There's four of them all like dancing around. Oh, very, what? Why is it so strong? Level 29, you've got to be fucking kidding. No, thank you. Let's see if this one's as strong. Okay, they're all, uh, we just, we've gone. The game is like an RPG now. We're just in like a higher level mob area. That is way too high for me. Look at them all. What are they doing? Check what's in the grass. It's, um, you guessed it, it's a galette. Oh, it doesn't say very strong. It might be one I can actually catch. Yes! No, wait! That's just gonna kill it! Fuck! All right, I'll take the XP. I would- Oh, <gasps> Duskull! Oh, uh, Drifloon? What's the little one called? Drifloon. Very strong looking Drifloon. God damn it. Okay, there's just a, a ridiculous amount of strong Pokemon here. If this Duskull... Yeah, it's too strong. They're all too strong for me. I'm gonna actually have to continue on with the game. Okay, what's this tower all about? Pokeball at the base, max revive. Pokeball at the base, revive at the base. How do we get in here? What is this? Doesn't seem to be anything in the den. Oh, okay. Some sort of weird Pokemon den. You must be able to get really rare Pokemon from these max raids and these other things that are like secondary. Oh! I will not be heading into that. Okay, he's fuming. Oh God, he's furious. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Crabbies? I'll get a Krabby. I'm so sorry, guys. I have to catch them all! Gotta catch them all! Pokemon! Surely Water Gun on a, a level 8 Krabby is not going to kill it. That's a big Krabby. Never mind. That's a lot of crab meat. Bit more XP. I'm going straight for the Pokeball. I'm glad I bought a bunch more Pokeballs. I can't believe how many wild Pokemon are out here in the wild area. Never mind. It's broken out. Fuck off. Come on. I've just got to pound its ass into yellow. And I'll go for the catch. Come on. It's cutting my legs off. Little bit more. Oh my God. The monotony. It's going to kill me. It's, it's got, you know what? I'm just going to go for the capture. I've got one HP. Here we go. Easy crab. Lock it in. I wonder if you get more XP based on how much damage you do to it and then catch it. 130 for Craig. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get an evolution from Trent any minute now. He's a Pidgey Pokemon, he have to be. Level 15, it can be found near the sea. The large pincers grow back if they are torn out of their sockets. This game is fucked up. Is it just me or have they really pushed the boundary with some of these Pokedex entries? Like I know there is a handful of really creepy and cool entries over the years, but I've seen a lot of really fucky ones in this game. I'm gonna call this one Fucky Crab, and surely it's gonna let me say that. Fucky Crab, I would like to send Fucky Crab to the Crab Box. Off to the Crab Box, Fucky Crab goes. And we will, please Max, no, no whistling. Stand up, let's go. All right, is there any way to run faster? Why are they all trying to attack me? <gasps> what are those? Are those grubbins? What is that? <gasps> Wooper! Okay, boy. I'm sorry! I've got to get me a Wooper! Wooper is so cute. Look, he, I mean, Krabby, its arms are pulled from its sockets, so they grow back. Wooper, not so much. One shake. Two shake. Three shake. Easy capture, boys. We've got a Wooper. This Pokemon lives in cold water. It will leave the water to search for food when it gets cold outside. Who wrote these? Big Sue's. Big Sue. Big S with an E. But wait, uh, Bike Sue's? Bike? What? Why did I type that? That's not even close to big. I'm definitely having a stroke. Nah, that's it. I'm calling it Big Gretel because of that little mishap. Big Gretel? No, I will not be raising Big Gretel. 
Have a guess where Big Gretel's going. Straight to the crab box. Just gonna go over here and farm the W. So this, there's a raid thing going on, but I don't really understand it. It, does, it never connects properly. I think I've got to do something specific. It might be all friends battling and doing things. I don't know. I should read the stuff. I, I probably will have a look at it after this episode, but it's not finding anything quick enough for my liking. This is definitely a lot more than 100 meters, I, I will say. Well, I didn't just beeline straight to it, though. Uh, we've got a wing gull. We've got to get a wing gull. Boom! Wingull has been caught. Come on, I've just got to get out of this wild area and I think I'll call it an episode. We've been here for way longer than I thought. Craig all the way to level 18 in this episode. I'm happy with that. And we're learning so much about all the Pokemon in the Galar region. Wingull, it makes its nest on sheer cliffs, riding the sea breeze. It glides up into the expansive skies. This one's got, one, this is one of my favorite names. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna You just hate Gno. It's Swedish. You could just hate Gno. He's gone straight to the box. He's not, he's gone to the crab box. All right, no new Pokemon. No new Pokemon. Get a little bit of W. Found a note. The wild area is overflowing with a special sort of energy. Measured in watts. You can gather watts yourself from glowing Pokemon dens and glowing Pokemon in the wild. Maybe that's what the um, one that was, had the sparkle on it was. Uh, you also find trainers in the wild area who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you'll just give them some of your watts. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's not players. Okay. I think this guy, these guys here are selling. I like to spend my watts. He's got a bunch of shit. And uh, then we've got this guy. What's he doing? Hello, fucker. The Camping King. People call him the Camping King. The King of Camping. Not uh, exactly a competitive sport, I would think. Rate my curry decks. You've got a curry decks. First, I'll tell you about the mysterious dish called curry. Everyone, and I mean everyone in Gala, has been hooked on the curry. That's definitely street for heroin. All right, we get it. We've got a whole Pokedex uh, for making curries. They thought that would be a good feature, I guess. Uh, and then we're going to climb up these steps. And this is where we're going to call our episode. After we run into Hop and probably go through 15 pages of dialogue. And we're in a big city. This is brilliant. Motostoke. Motostoke. Awesome. It's uh, it's all run on like steam, it seems. It's very steampunk. The game is not very good looking, I know. Stop slow panning over it. I mean, it's all right. Let's cut. Stop. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Maximofo Pokemon. I mean, Maximofo Games. Fuck!